In the buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. It is the great debate that's got a lot of households divided. Are you turning the heat on in your home? Mm. Now it's only early October, but the cooler temps have been making it chilly. It's it's damp, especially yeah. at, at nighttime. And I think that's when you do it when it's like that damp. Sure wet, I cold, know. Yeah, yeah. rainy days, yeah. and, and sometimes it's just to break the chill, shut mm -hmm. it right off. Right. But you're right, I think once it goes on, you're like, oh, here we go, yeah, we're oh, in that, it now. You're in it, you're in it. I have done this in my car. Mm -hmm. I like the little seat heater. Sure. And I, I enjoy putting the heat on right. in the morning. But then I find myself too sometimes. It's it like, hot. I'm stuck. Yeah, it's so too I'm hot. I'm trapped, and you need to turn it off right. and even get the, get like the normal temperature air flowing, not yeah. even cool, just something to, to regulate it. But there are still two AC units in the windows just right in now. Case. They're just they're just living there. Okay. They haven't been turned on Got it. lately, but in I found case of an emergency. Yeah. But then I found myself putting another blanket on the bed the other night and I thought I'm just gonna take this <laughs> AC out. <laughs> Then I wouldn't need to be grabbing another it's just, blanket. It's, it's a just, pain it's, to take the thing out of the I window. Know. It really is. I know. I the heat is on in the house. It was just turned down a couple of days ago. It's barely on. It's on like okay. you know. It's on like sixty something. All so right. it's it's barely on. I don't. Need, I'm not even sure if it's actually kicked in. Mm -hmm. But I was saying to you this morning, the best thing that I have done, and I, the, this was a couple of years ago. My wife's like, I I was at the store and I see one of those mattress pad covers, like the heated ones, and I said, mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna. I we should get one of those. We don't need one of those. I was like, okay. Then one day we lost power in February, and I said, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get one. Now, it's the greatest invention ever. Everybody has their own control, so you can turn. Oh, it's divided. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I got a control, she could, I put it on low, like 10 minutes before I get in bed. It's fantastic. Saying you preheat the I, bed. Oh, I do, I preheat, I preheat, <laughs> I do. I preheat the bed, and it's it's fantastic. I do have to, I like, I have to, there's a timer on it, so you can set it for like an hour, two hours, or let it go all night. Oh, oh, okay, till fully, oh yeah, I think. Till you're fully cooked. Yeah. <laughs> but I just, I, like, I put it on for just a, a little bit, just to heat heat the my section okay. up, and then, then I turn it off, because I get warm, I get hot during the night. I used to love, my parents used to have a water bed. Oh, right, that, that used to heat up. Oh, yes. that was such a treat. Right. You'd climb in, it was always warm, and you're right, there's something about like laying into a cold bed, and you, you want to move around no, no, no. to create no. the friction in the no. body warmth, and you're like, come no. on, warm up, no. warm I, up. I, I grab but the control, I go, boop, 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 done. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. I won't bring up the fact that the waterbed then ripped and exploded everywhere. Oh was, no! Wow, that was a big '70s thing. Everybody had a waterbed in the I feel like, but late, man, were they fun? Yeah, late '80s. Woo! Yes, extremely popular. Uh -huh, right? Yeah, I think they got it for like their wedding or yeah, something. Like yeah, something. I'm going to talk to Cardi's furniture and mattresses, <laughs> but I want Pete to start carrying waterbeds again. <laughs> bring back the waterbed. Exactly. But you know, now I'm going to be laughing at waterbeds all day. But Will, you were in our Facebook Live uh, video earlier this morning. You were telling Michaela and me all about this ability you have to preheat the bed. I have this I like ability. It. Yeah. We're all gifted. 375, That's my gift. yes. 10 minutes. He, Michaela, he's so special, isn't he? He <laughs> has a heated bed. He's got it all. Is the pillow fluff enough for you, Mr. Gilbert? It's fine. But I got to tell you, I told you guys yesterday, I mean, it's, it's like you were saying, it's been cold this week. I mean, mm. not freezing, but it's a turn of temperature. And I yeah. was on the phone with my aunt, and I said, I don't want to put the heat on. And she goes, put the heat on. It's yes. cold out. Don't what worry about what, do? the, what the calendar says. Right, right. You want to put the heat on, put the heat on. Mm -hmm. So I did, and I complained about it all night long to my 12 cats. No. <laughs> anyway, whatever is right for you, put the heat on. Don't put the heat on to each their own. Let's check in with our viewers right now to see what you guys had to say about this topic right here this morning on the big Wednesday Roadshow. Jackie's up first. I'm always cold, but I haven't taken the AC units out of the window yet. The past couple of nights I have used blankets to keep warm, though. My AC is still in as well, Jackie. I know what you're saying there. Sarah shares, we don't need to put the heat on yet. My 11-year-old is insisting it is still shorts weather. <laughs> When I was 11, I probably wanted to wear shorts all year round, too. Priscilla says her pellet stove has been turned on for some time now. She's ready to go. And Jeremy closes out the comments today, saying, I haven't turned the heat on, but I did take the AC unit out of my window last night. Baby steps. Yeah, one step at a time to get ready for the fall and, of course, the winter to follow. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. We love when you do. It shows a lot more fun with your participation, so please follow us at The Roadshow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave your thoughts on our daily live bus topic, and you never know, we might read them right here on the show. It's exciting. And